गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स तो टुडे वी हैव अ फोर्थ क्लास ऑन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वर्ड एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग लेट्स सी व्हाट वी हैव कवर्ड इन आवर लास्ट क्लास सो वी हैव सीन हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट अ टेबल इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वर्ड एंड हाउ वी कैन एंटर द डेटा इन दैट टेबल एंड सब इफ वी वांट टू मॉडिफाई द टेबल लाइक वी वांट टू इंसर्ट सम रोज और डिलीट सम रोज सो हाउ वी कैन डू दैट and after that we have seen how we can split a particular row or a particular column into multiple cells and how we can merge the cell as well like suppose if we want to create or we want to combine two or more cells into one so how we can do that so we have seen that also and at last we have seen how we can use the mathematical function that we have created that the table we have created in microsoft word so these were our last class topic and today we are going to learn about how we can do a mail merge process in word 2016 also in that we are going to see how we can merge the form letters that means the letters we are going to create and how we can arrange the labels for them so these are our today's topic so let's begin with our topics today so mail merge process basically allows you to create form letters mailing labels and envelopes so you can think of that like suppose you want to invite your friends or teachers or some of your relatives to some invitation party so rather to create multiple letters for each of them you can create just one letter and then with the help of labels and envelopes you can create multiple copies of that so this is a process of combining a list of data with a template so basically mail merge also consists of this we are combining a multiple list that is the letter we have created and then we are combining into a list of data with the help of template now this process involves basically two things the first one is your main document so basically this main document will consist of the text and the graphic that is your invitation letter content same for each version of the merged document so like i told you earlier if you are creating this one for multiple users so you can simply create just one letter and that particular version will be used for all the users then second we have data source so data source basically contains the information to the merge into a document so basically you can understand like this suppose you have a list of users or a list of friends or a list of relatives so their names and address that would be the as a recipient of your letter so this particular data source will consist of the information about the users you are going to write the letter for now let's see the step by step process how we can do this mail merge process so basically this process as which we have seen earlier there are two things that is the main document and second one is our data source so first what we have to do is we have to create our main document so how we can create it as i told you that the ribbon contains these multiple tabs so in this tab you will find one tab that named as mailing so first you have to go to the mailing tab and inside that you will find start mail merge so when you click on this start mail merge you will get all the listed commands that you can use and at the last we are going to set up it with the help of step by step mail merge wizard so we will go to this and then we will set up our mail merge form letter so when you click on this so on the side of your document you will find this particular window over here you will get the multiple options like are you going to write letters or email message or you are going to create envelope or the labels or the directory so now first we are creating the letter so we will select the option letter and then we will move to our next step that is the starting document so in the second one select the starting document 
so here you will get these three options so basically it depend on us that whether we want to use the current document that we are working upon or we want to use some predefined template i hope you have remembered about the template that we have learned in our second class that how we can create a new document in word so either we can create it as a blank document or with the help of using a template so either you can use that template or if you have already created any document so you can use that also so it totally depend on you that if you are going to write a new letter so you can use this current one and with the help of current document you can simply start with the next document so as of now we are using the current document and then we will proceed for our next step in case you want to go so over here you will get this previous step as well so you can click on this and you can go back to your first step now in the third step we have to select the recipient for whom we are going to write this letter now in this we will get two options one is using an existing list that means you have already created one list for the recipient and you can select those recipient from there so this is the first thing so the list will look like over here so in which you can see that there is first thing that is data source that means your user users that will be saved as a separate different file so those data source that is your file will contain their last name first name city state zip etc so this information will be saved as a list form so either you can use this one or we have the second option that is creating a new list so how we can create it simply when we are going to select the recipient so over there you will get this option so when you create a new list you have to fill this information which consists of title the first name of the user last name company name and there are other different attributes if you want to see or if you want to create a custom column so simply you can click on this customize column and over here you will get the list of predefined attributes that are present for a user so any of them you can fill basically uh, these attributes are not compulsory so you can either fill only the first name the address line one the city zip code and the country country is kind of good for you so that if you are writing the letter so at least it should show that for which country you are writing and then you can just click on this okay and it will be created a new list would be created with the information that you have filled over here and then after creating a list we will select this particular file would be created in your system and then you can select it as a recipient list and you have to just click on this okay so once you click on this okay so that particular list will be used to send the document now we in the step 4 so basically as of now we have seen the three step first one is we are going to start the document then we are writing then we are selecting which document we want to write either we can use the current document or we can create a new one or we can use either the template or the existing and then in the third step we have seen how to select the users list so that list either we can create a new user list or we can simply select an existing list by which we can add our recipient now we are going to write our letter so basically this content will show that if you are inviting someone so obviously you will write something like there is some event in my home and you are probably invited to that particular event that is going to be held on x y z date and at particular y z time so over here when you are selecting so it will ask you how you want to format your recipient information so basically either you can format like the salutations like mr mrs or doctor and then their first name or second name if you want to include that particular destination of currently so that you want you can include and over here over here you will get a preview of that 
that how the recipient information will be displayed on your document so once you select this one and start writing your letter then it will show like this so once you have done so wherever your cursor and you will place that address it will show that information like this so here the address block means it will show display the complete address that you have selected that means the format you have selected to show so that information may consist either the names of the user their complete address including their address 1 address 2 city state zip code and the country or simply the attributes that you have selected like if you have selected only their first name and last name with their city and the state so only that information will be displayed in this address block at last we are displaying simply the first name that is if uh, you can show it as like we generally write in the and this is from ashish or this is from sanjay this is from neha this is from nitin so that particular first name will be displayed so after writing your letter we will get a preview of your letter so in the preview whatever the letter you have written that also that address block like over here in the step 4 we have seen this address block so this address block will be replaced with the original information of the recipe like suppose you have added their name and address and all so that information will be displayed and after that at the last step you have to simply click on this complete merge process is done and now either you can simply print your letter so that it can be saved and you can send it later or you can edit the individual letter so it's totally depend on you once you complete this merge process so those files will be created so now let's have a let's look at the example in our word that how we can do it so for your confirmation i have already written this so i have already created simple three four lines in the form of a letter and now i am going to start our mail merge process so for that what i have to do is i have to click on mailing in the mailing i will go to select merge start over there we will go to step by step mail merge so over here you can simply check that now we are going to write the letter so this is our first step as we have seen already that over here we are going to write the letter so first we will select it and then we will click on the next step so when i click on next step now it will ask me whether to use the current document to start from a template or start from existing document so i'll select the use the current document and then we'll go to select recipient now over here it is asking me using use an existing list select from outlook on text or type a list so let me browse a list i have already created for you guys just for example so over here the list is there that is in mdb format so once i select this so you can see that over here the information is already coming the one user that i have created with the name of kumar so that particular user is coming with its complete information so when i scroll to the left sorry scroll to the right so you can see that state city all this information is already filled up so this is one user or you can see the existing list i am using and when i click on okay so you can select that particular use list has been selected now i will go to next to write our letter and when i write my letter over here it will ask that if you want to add this information in your letter so basically what does it mean is address block that is if i want to add the address of the user that i am going to select for this or i am going to write the letter for the user so if i click on this let's say over here i want to add this address block so i'll simply click on this it will now display me the format that how i can show how the information will be displayed so it will be like the complete name with a salutation i am inserting the company name as well let's say suppose i don't want to insert it simply click on this and that checkbox will be unchecked so the information that is checked upon only that information will be displayed so over here you can see that now it is a like like suppose if i don't insert this 
so you can see that particular address has been removed from here. So that's all now. Let's select this one and simply click on OK. Now you can see that address block has been inserted over here. If I want to insert a greeting line, so I can simply go to next line, click over here, and then it will show me like the format would be like this. So this one would be like dear and then the name or first name with a salutation. I simply added as okay. So you can check now the greeting line is also added. So now I have written my letter with all the address and the salutations and the greeting line. Next move to the preview. So as I told you earlier, once you click on the preview thing, so that address block will be replaced by the actual information and that greeting line is actually replaced by the actual information. So over here the actual information means basically that I am going to select the for the user the, I mean the recipient that I have selected so their name would be displayed and their complete information would be here. And in the greeting it will add dear and then the first name uh, sorry the sex, last name with a salutation missing. So once I click on next, so the merge would be completed. So once I click on next, so either I can print so or edit. So let's go to the print. I go to OK. Once I did it, so let's make it as a printer. Let's save it with document one. So now you can see that this particular letter has been written and all this information that we have selected is presented over here. So now you can simply check that we have first that whatever the letter we have written it is displaying in the same form. It is showing me the information that is address block, it is a greeting line and it is our actual letter that we have created. So this is how sim simply you can create your mail merge process with the help of word. So now you can write multiple invitation letters to your friends, family and can simply either you can send it that is you can email them or you can take a print and then you can post them. Now once you have letter created so we have seen how we can do it with the help of existing list. Now let's into that let's check if we want to create with the help of a new list. So what we will do is we will go to type a new list then we will create on create and over here we will enter the information like I want to give a title Mr. I want to give a name let's say Neha then the last name Shama company name is let's say VPML let's leave the address line 1 and the address line 2 let's add the code the city is Mirat State is Uttar Pradesh zip code 25002 country is India and okay let's leave the uh, phone and email address and just click on okay now it will ask me the the list that I have created I have to save with something let's say I give it as list work and simply save it. So now it is asking me to select these recipient. I will simply click on OK and then the letter is already written. Then we will see a preview. So it will show me a preview. So now you can see that the new list that I have created with all the information. Okay, sorry. Just a second. Yeah. So now you can see that a new user that we have created. So the information of that user is present here with all those images. Now simply you have to click on next, complete the merge and the same like the earlier letters were saved, it, those letters will be saved in a print form. Because as of now I am printing into a PDF. So when I click on this, it will print into this one and uh, let's save it with uh, some other name. Simply save. So now you can check that the information for that particular user for which we have created the letter is now displayed. So this is how you can create your mail I and mean, you can 
do your mail merge process either creating a new list or you can use simply an existing list i hope this one is clear to you now let's move to our new uh, next topic so this complete mail merge process we have seen now the second part is mail merge label so basically the mail merge label consists of the same except of uh, the same except only the difference would be like first we will create select the document then we will type then we will go to the starting document then we will select the list either we can use an existing or create a new one like we did in our mail merge process and then over here we have these three new steps so what we have to do is we have to arrange our labels then we have to preview those labels how we can do and at last we are going to complete that merge so let's check with these steps again how we can do this label part so let's go to our word and uh, let's use a new document and over here again we have to go to mailing then in a select a start merge process we will go to step by step mail merge over here now you can see that we have these different options so these options are different and now what we have to select is we have to select this label because we are going to create labels for the and so we will create click on this label part and then we will go to next starting document now what we have to do is we have to select the recipient so let's click on this and now it will ask that how much particular labels we want to print on a single page so if you want to just use half letter so you can use that i want to print 30 labels on one page so i'll go with this and just click on okay then i have to arrange my labels so i'll click on next before that it will ask me that which resource or which list i am going to use so let's we have created these two lists let's use one of them and we have only one recipient over there so use only that one let's click on okay so now you can see that it is asking it is showing me this next record what does that mean so this is the command basically that it will display the first information over here and then the next would be displayed over here and and so on so like we have 30 record so this next record will be repeated for 29 times include excluding this first one so by this all the 30 record if we have so that would be printed if we have more than 30 record so that 31st will be printed on a next page now go to the arrange your labels that is our next step so whatever we want to print we will select like i want to print simply the address block that is simply this one i click on okay so you can see that it will display the address block and it will be repeated for all the records that we have so this information will be displayed that is these labels will be created with the address information then we will click on next preview or label so as of now we have only one address so that's why it is displaying only this information and once we will do the complete merge so again now either we can print it or we can simply edit it for individual one and when you click on this print so this would again be saved into the word format with the name of this and when i save it so you can check that it is showing me this label information that can be used so basically the purpose of this creating a label is like you don't need to write individual name sheet like we used to write you can simply have a list of users and from that you can select the number of recipient to whom you are going to write the letter and then can print their name there on this chart so i hope these two topics that we have covered today are clear to you so i'm repeating those two topics again so we have done two things that is first one was our mail merge process in which we have seen let's go back to our slide just for a re quick recap recap
so these were our three topics that we have covered today that is mail merge process that how we can start the mail merge process what are the different steps so basically there are two things first you need a main document that is your letter and the second the data source so the main document will consist your letter that you are going to write and the data source will consist of the list of users to whom you are going to write this letter then to start this process we have two things first is form letters and second one are label the form letters basically consists the information of the letter that you are going to write how want to add you address your recipient so they are addressing if you want to add the greeting so that you can do you can either create a new list or you can select the existing one similarly for the letters you have three option either you can use your current document or you can use any template or you can simply use some existing document so by which you can create your letter and at the end we have seen how we can create the labels and how we can arrange them so labels are generally the information that you put on on your letters whenever you are going to send them so it has to, to uh, for the identification of a user or your like some post office you are sending to it can easily identify to whom this letter intended to so rather to open your letter it can be simply be checked with the help of the address we have mentioned on the top so that's all for today i hope you have un enjoyed this session please keep into your learn forward app for all the updates and if you have any query you can post over there as well we are going to answer all your queries related to all the topics that we have covered see you soon we'll meet you in a